Welcome to the world of Pete Aldolf's garden at Hauser and Worth in Somerset. Today we're visiting and stepping into a landscape that's like nothing else. A living painting crafted by one of the most influential garden designers of our time. Pete Aldolf is a master of the wild and the beautiful, of structure softened by season. His work here isn't just about the plants, it's about creating a world that shifts, evolves and invites us to look more closely at nature's hand. Aldolf's design philosophy is often described as naturalistic, but there's a complex simplicity to it. His gardens aren't wild by accident, they're crafted with precision and full of deliberate choices. And yet each bed flows so naturally as if it grew there by chance. Here at Hauser and Worth, you'll see swathes of tall grasses, seed heads and bulb perennials. Aldolf plays with plants that have both beauty and endurance. These are plants that look as lovely in their decline as they do in full bloom. It's a key principle of Aldolf's work, it's beauty in all seasons. He often says that winter is just as important as summer. The structure of the plant, the way it catches frost or moves in the wind, has as much to offer as a bloom at its peak. And it's why I always visit Hauser and Worth in the autumn. Aldolf's gardens are also about flow and rhythm. There are no rigid lines here. Paths curve organically and plants are grouped in naturalistic drifts. They move and merge, creating that sense of effortless harmony. It's not about a single standout flower, but rather a tapestry of textures and tones. Aldolf sees the garden as a whole ecosystem and one that needs cohesion and balance. Aldolf once said, a garden should feel good, not just look good. His gardens invite you to slow down, to see beauty and imperfection and to appreciate the subtle. His planting choices favour what he calls performance plants. Plants that don't just bloom and fade, but transform as they age, giving us textures, seed heads and movement throughout the season. So how can we bring a bit of Aldolf's magic into our own gardens? Here are three simple ways to capture that sense of timeless beauty. Firstly, choose plants for structure as well as colour. Think about how the plants will look across the year. Seed heads, stems and leaf shapes can all add interest, especially in the autumn and winter when flowers are scarce. Try plants like echinacea, which have beautiful seed heads, or ornamental grasses that sway with the wind and catch the light. Secondly, embrace drifts and curves. Instead of planting in rigid rows, let your plants merge together. Create drifts of the same plant to give an impression of flowing movement. Planting groups softens your edges and gives a naturalistic feel, bringing the Aldolf style of wild into your garden, even if it's only in a small bed. And remember, if you plant really densely, you won't have to do as much weeding. Thirdly, working with layers. Mix tall and low plants, contrasting textures and heights. Aldolf's style is all about layering plants to create depth and rhythm. Pair tall, airy grasses with low clumping perennials and the interplay of heights and textures will add a dynamic quality, one that changes as the year unfolds. Visiting Pete Aldolf's garden at Hauser and Worth is like stepping into a living artwork, one that reveals its secrets slowly. It reminds us to look closer, to appreciate the quieter elements in the garden and celebrate nature in all its forms. So whether you have a large garden or a tiny corner, try weaving a bit of Aldolf's perennial philosophy into your own space. Embrace the seasons, look beyond the flower, and let nature's beauty shine through. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're leaving as inspired as I am.